Hi, this is Matt with Custom Car Grills. Now, this video is a little different than some of the others we've made. A package was recently delivered to us with what I assumed was a sample of grill mesh sheets. I noticed it was a decent sized sheet of mesh that was wrapped in some thin, bright blue cardboard. Not surprisingly, I also noticed that it was made in China. Their packaging claims that it's high quality aluminum grill. Gives your car a distinctive racing touch, maximum quality and universal size guarantee, easy processing and installation of your grill, unlimited application possibilities and spoiler apertures, air intakes, radiator grill, exhaust pipes, etc. Enough about that though, it's what's inside that counts, so let's find out what we're dealing with here. As it comes out of the package, I can tell you that this mesh is ultra lightweight and flimsy. For comparison, I brought a sheet of our aluminum mesh out, which has been manufactured here in the US since 2001. Upon closer inspection, there's a clear difference between the two meshes in thickness and uniformity. The mesh from China has some odd properties given the size of the openings. This amount of flexing is usually only seen with smaller mesh styles or expanded aluminum that's been flattened. Now I'm going to run the same test on our mesh. Because ours is stronger, there's going to be less flex and a little bit more recoil. This is how an expanded mesh of this size should react in my opinion. Next, it's a showdown of the strand thickness. The China mesh is coming in at about 0.035 inches thick, which is about 20 gauge aluminum, a sheet thickness typically used in smaller meshes. Our mesh is measured out being a little bit thicker than what we normally advertise it as and is coming in at about 0.060 inches thick. The overall thickness of the mesh is just as important to note. The mesh from China measures about 0.075 inches thick, a thickness usually relegated to flattened or small opening mesh. Our custom car grills mesh is about twice the size and is measuring about 0.150 inches thick, which is much more robust. Next, I'm going to try a curl test to see how the mesh reacts to a tight bend. With the imported mesh, I was able to easily wrap it around with minimal effort. The mesh we sell is able to be formed, but it does take quite a bit more strength in order to move it. It didn't budge much just by using my thumb. Now it's on to a weight measurement. It looks like the China mesh is a little less than half a pound. This isn't surprising given the other measurements we've taken. Our mesh is weighing in at the advertised weight of about a pound, which is normal for an aluminum mesh of this size. I'd like to next compare the packaging. The China mesh was sent to us in bulk, which added some rigidity to the box as a whole, but the cardboard used here on an individual sheet basis is incredibly lightweight. We ship our sheet out using 275 pound test cardboard that has a half inch center thickness. While a hard impact can damage the packaging, it's not something that I can bend by hand. In conclusion with this unboxing in comparison of an imported mesh, I guess all I can say is that you get what you pay for. Quite often other companies use either our pictures or our customers pictures in their ads. If you believe that you're getting the same mesh we sell from someone else, then hopefully this video has shown why that might not always be the case. I hope you liked this video and if you have any questions about this video or any of our others, feel free to contact us.